Okay, let's talk about the visual arts medium. Okay, pero bago yan, panoorin nyo muna uli ito. Handog na Gunung Sistan Mag-aral tayo! Alright, okay. So, mga mahal kong estudyante, ha? doon nyo kakalimutan, like and subscribe. Ay, subs subscribe pala. Tama, tama. Pwede rin pala like. Okay, sige. Proceed na tayo sa topic natin. Pag-usapan natin itong uh, medium sa visual arts. No? Ano nga yung ano, uh, categories ng, ano, ng visual arts? Uh, what are the arts no? under visual arts? No? Meron tayong painting, sculpture, and architecture. Yan. So, magandang pag-aralan natin yan. Okay, sige. Let's talk about... Uh, Painting muna. Yes, painting. No? So, painting mediums muna tayo. No? So, what is painting? No? Painting is a process of applying pigment on a smooth surface. So, that is paper, cloth, canvas, wood, or plaster. Yan. So, yan yung tinatawag nating painting. No? So, one example is using medium, the encaustic no so what is encaustic no it's a wax based paint no composed of beast wax resin and pigment which is keep molten on the heated palette and it is applied to an absorbent surface and then reheated in order to fuse the paint yan so kung iisipin mo yung material eh wax siya so ano ba yung characteristic ng wax So, yung wax, uh, kung dry siya, medyo matigas siya. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa binigay nating definition, uh, heated and the palette, heated uh, palette, no? yeah, it is applied to an absorbent surface and then reheated in order to fuse the paint. No? So, ibig sabihin, uh, dahil yung characteristic niya matigas, matigas siya, no? so pag nilagay siya sa isang absorbent uh, surface, you need to reheat that encaustic in order to fuse no yung yung, yung paint no ko kumapit yung paint doon sa surface no kung mapapansin niyo yung picture ito no ito ito no? gumamit siya yung artist din gumamit siya ng heat gun because the heat gun blows the hot hot air so, no? coming from that uh, uh, that device no so natutunaw yung yung wax no yung wax no tapos and then pag natunaw yung wax tsaka pa kumakapit niya yon sa surface no yung pinaglalagyan nung nung uh, nung material ng ng big medium yon so ang tawag natin doon encaustic no the word encaustic pra, comes from the greek word uh, Inka i ye no no Pinakinggan ko sa sa Google no meron silang merong Greek uh, site na na nagpo-pronounce ng mga Greek word no ang pronunciation nila enchi ya 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 ye no wow kakaiba eh, no it's so difficult to pronounce no so pero hindi na importante yung meaning eh, no yung yung pronunciation the meaning is to burn in no uh, referring to the process of using the paint doon sa surface. Yeah. So, that's why it's called encaustic. Yeah. Right. So, medium yun. Ha? Iisipin nyo yung medium. Yun yung materials na ginagamit. So, what next? What, what else? No? So, the other materials, the other medium is called tempera. No? So, what is tempera? No? Tempera are mineral pigment mixed, mixed with egg yolk and egg white. So the paint dries quickly. So corrections are difficult to make. So so artist using this medium must plan his design so well. So yung isang characteristic niya, yung nature no yon yung tinatawag nating characteristic and nature of this tempera, madali siyang matuyo. So pag prepare siya ng isang artist dapat malinaw na sa kanya yung kanyang design. So once the artist prepared that material, immediately he applied those paint, this tempera 
in the, into the surface it's very very quick because yung tempera na nandoon sa mga lalagyan niya for example that no yung mga ito nasa bottle na ito no no so it dries quickly no so that is the nature and characteristic of the medium so uh, kung mabagal-bagal ka magpaint tapos wala ka pang plano doon sa sa design mo no e eh, wag kang gagamit ng tempera because uh, la, the tempera is not good for that uh, kind of uh, working uh, set up no working conditions kasi kung wala pa eh masisira yung materials mo tuyo ka kasi sayang yung uh, materials mo but if you are uh, good in your design you know you are the design is readily a good no readily no ready na siya no pwede mo na siyang i-execute no? and you you paint so quick no so use tempera no pwede kang gumamit ng tempera so we have the encaustic and the tempera so, Let's proceed to uh, next. Okay, fresco. Yan. Fresco is a painting. Fresco painting is the application of earth pigment with the water on a plaster wall while the plaster is damp. So ano yun? Ano yun? Yung earth pigment yun yung ano? Yung yung ano? Yung fresco na tinatawag natin. Pero kailangan gagamitin mo lang siya sa plaster wall. So ano yung plaster wall na tinatawag? No, dapat yung plaster wall pa ay basa, no? Ano yung plaster wall na tinatawag? Kung familiar kayo, di ba, pag napilayan kayo, no? Pilayan, di ba, napilay tong kamay niyo, no? So sinasabi nila na uy, sinemento yung kamay o kaya yung paa, no, sinemento. Yung simentong tinatawag na yon, yun yung tinatawag na plaster, no? So yung plaster na yon uh, nakalagay yon sa sa bandage nandoon yun sa bandage. So, so habang binabasa yung bandage saka yon pinapalupot sa kamay mo. So ibig sabihin parang nandoon yung pintura na na ay pintura sorry, yung para semento no no. Yon. So habang binabalot yon kumakapit yung yung plaster na nandoon sa bandage at binibilog yon no. And then eventually matutuyo siya. So para siya kasi tigas na ng semento. Pero yun nga pag napilayan ka tina, sinasabi, uy, semento yung paa, no? Hindi semento tawag doon, ah, plaster 'yon. So bakit siya tinawag na plaster, no? Kasi uh, popularly uh, plaster of Paris ang tawag doon. So uh, ginagamit siya sa mga sculpture na no? kulay puti siya, kulay puti. Uh, bakit siya tinawag na plaster of Paris? Kasi uh, yung material na tinatawag na gypsum ay matatagpuan sa marami nun sa Paris, France. So, kaya tinawag siya plaster of Paris. So isa pa, no? yung presko, yung earth pigment na yon, na, na yon yung mga colors na yon ia-apply mo yon sa plaster. Kailangan basa yung plaster. Bakit? Kasi para kumapit yung color. Kasi kung hindi uh, basa yon yung wall, eh, tuyo, hindi kakapit yung kulay. Yung hindi niya ma-absorb yung color. Kaya nga, yung, yung itong nakikita nyo artwork na ito, no, ang tawag dito ay The Creation of Man, is a fresco painting by the artist Michael Angelo. So, so saan sa makikita? Doon sa Sistine Chapel, no? sa ceiling, no? sa ceiling. So ano yung ano yung ceiling na yon? So, yung yung material na ginamit doon, yung plaster doon. No. no? Yung parang semento no? sa ceiling na yon. Yon. So crea created by Michael Angelo in year 1508 between 1508 to 15 or started year 1508 at tatapos niya ng 15 uh, 12. No, so 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 5 years niyang ginawa yung yung painting na yan doon. So because it's difficult because it, uh, may possibility niyan napakahirap dahil uh, the ceiling is too high and then and of course uh, uh, a lot of conditions to be considered why it takes uh, the reason why it took the Michael Angelo to finish it in in 5 years. No? So so isa yan sa mga example ng Presco ano popular no presco painting no okay. so what else no so meron na tayo encaustic tempera presco so what else okay watercolor no so watercolor is tempered 
paint made of pure ground, pigment bound with gum arabic, no? So gouache, no? Yung kung siguro kung hindi niyo alam yung spelling niyan, yung pronunciation niyan, baba ang basa niyo yan, yung quick, no? No. Ang pronunciation niyan is gouache, no? It's a, it's a paint in which the pigment has been mixed with chalk like material. No? So gouache is opaque, means less transparent. So bakit? So yung bakit sila magkasama no kasi pareho silang water based no pareho silang water based so the watercolor and almost similar with gouache but still they are different why because watercolor is transparent gouache is not but it's opaque so it's less transparent yeah so let's take let's uh, look at the examples no here no? so yan yeah, kung mapapansin niyo so look at the color of the hair. No? So magkaiba sila. No? So the artist rendition with the same artwork, pero uh, magkaiba yung ano? Magkaiba yung uh, effect. No? So I think no, uh, the watercolor is bright. No, compared to the gouache. No, no? medyo dull yung dal yung gouache no yeah okay so see the just check the difference so, so makikita niyo naman no. okay so so uh if you're going to ask the ano the 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 technique no so there are artists better in using watercolor and there are artists uh, better using gouache no? or their artists uh, are not knowledgeable in using this both medium no pag watercolor ang gamit niya magaling pa ganda pa rin ang gawa niya pag gouache ang gawa gagamitin niya ganun pa rin because he knows the nature and characteristic of this both uh, both uh, mediums no pag ito gagamitin niya he knows how to use it he knows the technique in using the watercolors different from using uh, gouache no the technique different from using the gouache. So, magkaibang technique yan. Why? Because the, the, the nature and characteristics are so different. You know? Yeah. Okay. So, there are, there are, meron pang isa, no? Uh, there is another material that is water-based, no? Ano yon? So, eto yon. So, the, using the acrylic, no? Acrylic is a synthetic paint using acrylic polymer emulsion as binder. Mm, binder. And the newest medium, and the one is widely used today. So, advantages of acrylic, transparency, and quick drying characteristic of watercolor and flexibility of oil. It's soluble when dry. It can be used in any flat surface. So, yung maganda doon, yung flat surface. Either you used wall, yung pader, you used a, a canvas, you used a cardboard, pwede. No? No. Pwede siya. Pwede siya. So, so, very flexible itong material to so very popular to ngayon so there are three materials that are water based so watercolor the gouache and the acrylic so what are the mediums in painting so we have the encaustic we have the tempera we have the presco we have the what else the um, watercolor the gouache and the acrylic so those are the traditional painting mediums but ngayon kasi marami ng innovation sa uh, painting no so the materials are not limited no the mediums are not limited only in two in this uh, mediums no but these are the popular and the most widely used and traditional so marami ng iba pa uh, materials by the way, no, may visual art ngayon, yung tinatawag natin digital arts. So, yung color produced in digital arts are produced by light. Yung tinatawag natin RGB. So, iba na yon, Si iba na yon, Because these are not pigment. But these are colors produced by light. So, pag-uusapan natin yan in some other time. No? sa iba nating uh, talakayan. So, uh, dyan nagtatapos yung ating uh, pag-aaral sa uh, uh, 
uh, mediums in uh, painting uh, arts. Bye! Handog ng Gunung Sistan Mag-aral tayo!